Welcome to this video tutorial on Golang REST API by Simply Learn. In this session, you will learn to develop a REST API and then we will perform CRUD operations on it. So, hey everyone, I am Abhisar Ahuja from Simply Learn and welcome to this video on Golang REST API. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. So, first, we will create a folder. We will name the folder as REST API new. REST underscore API underscore new. And inside we will open the Visual Studio code. For that, first we will open the command prompt and write the command code space period and press enter. Make sure the Visual Studio code has Golang support. For that, you can go to the extensions and search for Go. Install the Go extension. I've already done that. Now, once you have done this Go extension installed, now click on the view and open the command palette and write the command Go colon install slash update tools. It will open all the tools of the Go. You can select them all and click on the OK. So all the Go tools will be installed. Now you can see all the tools have been successfully installed. Now we'll create a new file that would be main.go. And we'll start with writing the package main. We'll run a command. go mode in it rest underscore api underscore new and press enter now we'll run another command here it's showing that go dot mode file already exists it has already been created now we'll run another command that is go mode tidy and press enter now we'll create the function main we'll save the file and now we will import the modules for that we'll write the command import round brackets and inside round brackets we will write the modules that is encoding slash json the next is net slash http the next is string conversion strcunv and another we will import would be the gorilla mux for that we will open the browser and search gorilla mux in the web browser we will open the website that is gorilla mux github.com And copy the command go get minus u github dot com slash gorilla slash mux and we'll paste the command in the terminal press enter 
and now we'll import the Gorilla Mux module. For that, we'll write github.com slash gorilla slash mux. Now, in the main function, we'll write the command router. We will initialize it mux dot new router this function will be executed when we call our goal application here we will set up our routers here we will create the rest api for employees for that we will create a struct with the name profile for that we will write type profile struct and inside the struct we will hold information for the employee profiles that would be department it will be of string type and in json we use the backticks json and it would be represented as department The next field would be designation. It would also be of the type string. And in JSON, it would be represented as designation. And the next field you would get would be employee. And we will make it a complex field for that we will create another struct that would be type user struct and inside this struct we would hold the first name last name and email of the employee And in the JSON format, we'll use the backticks JSON first name, and the next field would be last name. It would also be of the type string, and in the JSON format. it would be represented as the last name only the next field would be email it would also be of the same type string and in the json format we will represent it as email only Now in the profile struct, we will define the employee field as of the type user. That would be of the type user struct. And in the JSON format, we will represent it as employee. We will start the web server in the function main. For that, we will write the command HTTP dot listen and serve in the round brackets. First, we will pass the local host port number, and second thing, we will pass the MUX router. So, we will define our port number as 5000. So colon 5000 and the next thing we will pass is the mux router we will set up the new routes 
so that we can operate and perform operations on it so in the function main only we'll set a new route that would be router dot handle function and inside first we will declare the path that is profiles and next the function name we would name the function as add item and set the http methods as post You can see that the handle function has taken the path and the name of the function as parameters. Now we'll declare the add item function. This add item function is a route handler and therefore it will take two parameters. First will be the response writer. That would be of the type HTTP dot response writer and the second parameter would be the request variable so let's start with the function add item we'll write func the name of the function that is add item and we will pass the response writer that would be the variable q http dot response writer and the next variable that would be the pointer that would point to the http dot request so we will declare with the variable r set up the rest api where we can send the json data in the request body for that we will declare a new variable in the body of this function that would be add item we will declare the variable new profile of type profile Let's use new decoder that would be json dot new decoder and in the parameter it would take io dot reader that would be r dot body and in decode we'll pass the variable where the json document should be decoded to that would be the new profile now we'll send a json object in the function that we'll write json dot new encoder and inside we'll pass q dot encode and we'll pass profiles in the import this takes the variable that satisfies the interface io dot writer the response writer here satisfies the io dot writer interface we can pass q and then encode in encode we can pass a value that can be converted to json we can do this by using a struct and we have used the struct profiles we'll set up a content type header on the response for that we'll write the command w dot header dot set and in the set we'll pass the key and the value the key will be the content type and the value will be the application slash json because of content type postman will know the data is of json type here we'll be using postman to send the request so in the set 
we will make the key the content type and the value is application slash json now let's create a slice and route to add items in slice we'll create a slice that would be variable profiles profile equal to square brackets profile curly braces now we can add the data to the slice we can do that by using the append function which is an inbuilt function so we will get back to the add item function and we'll use the append function here that would be profiles equal to append and we'll pass profiles and the new profile let's try and make some requests to our api here we will be using postman to make these requests so we'll start the postman so we'll create a new request and set the request as post as we have declared the method as post and the url would enter would be localhost colon the port number that is 5000 slash profiles now click on the body and select row now here in this body will enter the structs in the JSON format for that first we will define the curly braces and our first struct was the property in the struct was department we will set the department as marketing comma the next was designation colon designation would be research marketer comma and the next was uh, I have to confirm that employee and that is of the user type so employee and it has some fields inside it so we'll declare those that was first name we'll make it as Adam Coma, last name, we'll make it as Adam Peter, and that would be in the inverted commas, comma, and we left the inverted comma, and the next thing was email. That would be Adam Peter sixty six at the rate gmail dot com. Yeah. 
we forgot to build and run our code so first we will return to visual studio code and save the file and run the command go build so it's showing an error that is undefined http dot listen and serve okay so a will be kept up for the end so we'll save the file and run the command again go build that dot exe file that is executable file has been created now we will run this file for that we will write the command period slash and the name of the exe file that is rest underscore api underscore new and press enter and now the file is running we will go back to postman and click on the send button here you can see that we got the output that is department marketing designation research marketer and the details of the employee so it has been posted so our rest api is working and the connection has been connected with the local host server 5000 now we will be creating more functions so that we can perform CRUD operations the current operations are create, read, update, and delete. So we'll move back to the Visual Studio code and create more functions. Create a route handler in the function main. That would be router dot handle function and inside the circle brackets we will write the path that is profiles and the name of the function mm, we will set it as get all profiles and the method we would set it as get the h would be capital for the handle function and f would be capital so in this function get all profiles we would be fetching all the profiles we would be adding in a rest api and we have set the method as get so that we can get all the profiles we can fetch all the profiles so now we will declare the function get all the profiles so we'll write function function name that is get all profiles and inside this is also a route handler function so it would be taking two parameters the first one would be the response writer that would be represented by the variable q and the second parameter would be http request variable that would be the r pointer that would be pointing to the http dot request so we will start with q variable that would represent http dot response writer comma r now the pointer that would point at http dot request Now inside the function, we will send a JSON object in the function. For that, we would write the command new encoder. For that, we'll write JSON dot new encoder. And inside, we would pass the queue that would be the response writer dot encode. And in code we can pass a value that can be converted to json that would be profiles now we'll set up a content type header on the response for that we would write the command 
w dot header sorry that would be q dot header because the variable is q here dot set and inside the set we will pass the key and the value that would be the content type and the application slash json so we would write that the key would be content type and the value would be application slash json now we'll save the file and we will enter the command control plus c in the terminal to stop the execution now we'll save the file again and run the command go build and now we will execute and run the file rest underscore api underscore new dot exe for that we'll write the command period slash the name of the executive file now we'll turn to postman if getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. We'll create a new request. And inside the new request, we'll set the HTTP dot request as get only. And inside the URL, we will copy the same URL. And click on the send button. Here we go that the array is empty so we will again go to the post http request we have to run this request again because we have stopped the execution with the command control plus c in the visual studio code terminal so we will click on the send button again and we can see that the array has been passed into the request body and we have seen that it has been successfully passed now we'll go to the get http request that would be following the function get all profiles now we'll click on the send button we can see that it has fetched the, all the profiles that has been entered till now we will post another profile so we would be making some changes that would be sales sales head and the employee name would be henry case pete and head email would be Henry case 99 at gmail.com and now we'll pass this request you can see that it has been successfully entered we have passed the request in the request body and you can see the output now we'll go to the get http request and click on the send button see that it has shown all the profiles we have entered till now to see in the JSON format, we just have to change it to JSON. We can see that we have entered the profiles here. So now we will be creating another function that would be get the profile by a particular ID. Here we are getting all the profiles. Now we'll be creating a function that would fetch us a single profile with a particular ID. For that First, we would be creating the route in the function main. Router dot handle function main inside. First, we will pass the path that would be profiles, comma, the name of the function. We will set it as get profile
and we'll set the method here as get only because we are fetching the profiles now we will add id in this that would that would be just beside the path for that we will write slash in the curly braces we would write the particular id the id we would be searching to get the profile close it in inverted commas and put the function name also now we would be declaring the function for that we'll write the command function and then the name of the function that would be the get profile that would be function and inside we would pass the same response writer and the pointer to http dot request that would be the variable q http dot response writer comma r the pointer to http dot request In the function body, first we will get the ID of the post or the profile from the route parameter. For that, we will declare a variable that would be variable ID parameter of the type string that would be equal to max dot vrs function and we'll pass the pointer r in that that would return us a map and inside the square brackets we would make it the id the next thing we have to do is to convert the string to an integer we can do this by using the function atoi that is part of the string conversion package so we have to import the string conversion package that would be str conv now we'll get back to the function that is get profile now we'll convert the string to integer so it returns two values one is the integer and another is error we'll see id comma error we'll define two variables and use string conversion and the function that would be adoi and pass the variable that is id param which we have to convert into integer now we will check if error is not equal to nil if we do not have any error so what we can do because the function is returning two values one is integer and another is error if it's the error then it won't be nil so we have to define that now we will check the error For that, we'll write the statement if error is not equal to nil. So inside this, we would be writing a command q root right header So it would be representing a number that would be 400 if the error would not be nil means that it has error it would be showing the error now w dot write
inside we will pass the size of byte and inside we would write id could not be converted to integer now we will also do the error checking before that we would write the statement return so if there's a error the next statements won't get executed after the error and we have the w capital for the right okay now we will be checking for the errors if id is greater than equal to length of profiles here id corresponds to the position in the slice if it's greater than length then it's invalid here we will write no post found and return so that code below doesn't get executed so for that we'll write the statement if id is greater than equal to length of profiles inside we'll write q dot right header it would display the header as 404 and next statement we would write would be q dot right with the capital w and inside the round braces we'll pass the slice of white and inside we'll write no profile found with specify id And now let's get the post at index or profile at index for that we'll write profile profiles id set it as key and value and the key would be content type And now we'll set the encoder. And pass the response writer q dot encode the variable name profiles profile. which is a dot new encoder mm. or it won't be in inverted commas so we'll get them cleared out now we'll save the file 
and write the command control plus C. Now we'll build the file. Now the executable file has been created. I will run the executable file. Now we'll move to Postman and now we'll enter all the profiles again. Then we'll fetch them. We have to enter them again because we have created and executed the exe file again. So we have one profile here. We will click on the send button and we can see that it has been successfully passed. Now we will get the second profile and we will click on the send button. We can see that we have passed two profiles. Now we will get on the get HTTP request. So it, if we click on the send button, it will get us both the profiles. And if we want to see them in the JSON format, you can see that we have got both profiles. Now we'll create another request that would be get and the same HTTP URL. And after profiles, we have to make it slash and make it as id 0 to get the id 0 and we'll click on the send button here we can see that the first profile we have entered was marketing about the marketer research marketer and we have put that if you want to fetch this next profile that would be the index one you click on the send button we got that profile that is sales head in the sales department that was the second profile so now we would move to another function that would be update for that we would create another route and that we would be creating in the function main only that will it copy and paste it we'll get the function name as update profile and the method that would be put so in capital letters now we will declare the function we will copy the same function that would be function get profile and make some changes in that only we will paste the function first we will change the name of the function that would be update profile and we'll be passing the same parameters here we would delete this part and now we'll create a variable updated profile to hold the decoded data we will pass the json document that would be r.body and in decode we will pass the address where we want to store the decoded data so for that First, we will declare the variable that would be update profile. It would be of the type profile. And we would be doing JSON dot new decoder. And inside we would be passing the io dot writer that would be r dot body dot decode and here we will be passing the address where we want to store the decoded data that would be ampersand update profiles.
now to update the profile value we will do files id equal to updated profile that is update profile now we'll send it to response that would be first we will set the header q dot header dot set and inside we would be passing the key and the value that would be content type and the value would be application slash json now we would be send it to response for that we will write the command json dot new encoder and inside we will be passing the response writer that is q dot encode e would be capital of the encode and inside we will be passing the variable where we want to store the updated data that is update profile now i'll save the file and in the terminal we will write the command control c to stop the execution now we will build the file now the executable file has been created now we will run the executable file and move to postman here we will create a new request that would be of the type put but before proceeding with that we have to again enter the profiles we have one profile already in the request body so click on the send button here we can see that it has been passed successfully now we'll also run again the get all profiles you can see that we have one profile and in the json format now we will come to the request that would be of the put type and copy the url and paste it here and it also has a parameter id so for that we will write the id as zero because we only have one profile that is at the index of zero and we will copy the request body and click on body click on draw of the type json and paste the profile here now we will update the department here and update it as content marketing and click on the send button here we can see that the profile has been updated the department has been updated to content marketing so now we would be declaring another function that would be delete for that we would be creating another route for that we would move to the main dot go file and in the function main we'll create another route that would be the delete profile and the function name we would keep it as delete profile only and the method would be delete now we will declare the function delete profile we will copy the function that would be update profile and paste it and make the changes in that only first we will make the change in the name that would be delete profile now we will send the response and we don't have anything to send it in the response body so we will delete this and we will send a 200 ok status so we could confirm that the profile has been deleted 
so for that you will write q dot write header and it would show the status 200 and to delete that we will run a command that would be profiles equal to append and inside the circle brackets we would write profiles set colon id comma profiles square brackets colon id plus one and period 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 so now we'll save the file and move to postman and test the delete function now we'll save the file and in the terminal we will enter the command control plus c to stop the execution now we'll build the file again and run the freshly built executable file now we'll move to postman and first we will post the profiles as we have created the executable file fresh now we have to click on the send button as we can see that it has been sent to the request body and we have get the response now we'll just run the get all profiles function it is showing that it has got a profile in the json format we will post another profile that would be of the department sales and it will be sales side so we have click on the send button and the profile has been posted now click on the get request and click on the send button here we can see that there are two profiles in the json format now we will create a http request that would be of the type delete and copy the url and paste it here and it has the id as parameter so we will delete the profile with id1 and click on the send it is showing http header 2200 as okay so it has deleted that profile move to get request and click on the send button here we can see that we have only one profile left it has deleted the profile with the index zero we have come to the end of this session i hope it was interesting and informative if you liked it please let us know in the comment section below also do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more from simply now hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here